I always make a habit of walking in the morning to understand the context of the places that I visit. Today's walk took me to see the sunrise of a wetland park in Guangzhou, China. As I stood near the railing of the park, the mysterious fog foreshadowed the unknown things that I would learn today. So the receptionist recommended that I visit the Canton Tower. Out of the train station, it was already dark, but this was the perfect time to see the breathtaking hyperboloid shape and colorfully lit Canton Tower. This tower was connected to my previous trip to Japan. Its architectural and lighting design was completed by Arup, whose keynote speaker Dan Hill I met at a conference in Tokyo. This monumental tower with a slim waist is the world's tallest TV tower, and since it's individually lit up, it's also the world's tallest LED display. But apparently not the biggest, as I would find out. I wanted to get a better view of buildings across the lake, and I stumbled upon the Pearl River night cruise. We went past a few bridges and then towards a group of buildings along the river that were all LED lit. It's like the anticipation of going to watch a movie. Except the movie is happening on the face of, of a giant tower that is all lit up with LEDs. As the world's largest animated display, the coordination and collaboration needed to achieve this gigantic motion picture was mind-boggling. They all had to work together in order to to make all of those lights. Um, work across all of those different buildings. So it required a lot of cooperation from people with very, very different interests. You know, they're all different companies, different organizations. Each building administrator had to agree to have LEDs installed in a consistent way, otherwise the display would seem broken. In a way, the lit buildings along the Pearl River were a full reflection of the collectivist culture in China. Achieving something great requires a coordinated team with a common vision. The building along the Pearl River is one of the biggest displays of teamwork in the world. While personal computers have been designed for a single individual, there's always a desire for equal access when it comes to collaboration. I hope that one day tabletop collaboration will become the norm in communal spaces around the world. Maybe Guangzhou is where this will happen first. <laughs>